Hello everyone, welcome to another Bow Tell Bow video where we talk about different bow woods and how to use them. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about how to harvest wood in light of the recent windstorms that has blown down a few trees in my local area. So stay tuned. Step number one, when you come up to a piece of wood, you want to look at its length and see how straight it is in that length. So from here to here, we're about six feet in length and it's very straight on the outside. Inside, you also got to check to make sure that it's not corkscrewing. And the way you do that is by looking at the bark. It's a pretty good indicator, not always true, but if the bark is going straight along uh, and not going around the tree, and then you should be pretty good when you split it that it will split straight as well. I had an, ex an incident where I split a piece of cherry and it was looking great, I was excited, but I can't really tell from the bark if it's straight or not. And of course, it corkscrewed really bad. So that was a disappointment. Don't wanna waste your time or your effort on a piece of wood. So always check that first. Step number two, <laughs> you gotta pick where you're gonna cut the tree. Looking at this piece of wood, I could have cut right here, gotten a, just a little under four feet of wood. I could take that, split it, splice it, put it together to make one six or eight foot bow, six to seven foot bow. However, looking at this, I had, it's so straight. I wanted to get as much bow as I could out of it. So I'm looking at it, it's about, this full piece here is gonna be about six and a half or so feet long. You wanna have a little extra on the end in case you have any cracking that happens called checking. That's where the wood starts cracking from the moisture leaving. But these two pieces were one and I'm like, you know, this guy doesn't really have a lot of usable wood in it. It's got a lot of knots. I might turn it into something else, not bows. This one, I think I can get a couple of bows out of. Minus this one knot. All right, here's some of the tools you're gonna need. First of all, you need an ax. I use this one to get the, the cut started. It's a little hard to start with one of these, so a sharp point makes it a lot easier. And a fine hammer gets that point so it doesn't bounce all over. You need a couple of felling wedges. These are very useful. They make the, fel uh, the splitting a lot easier. A maul is also very useful. Uh, well, I'd say almost invaluable because you need the sledge side in order to really split big logs or even small ones. But if you don't have any metal wedges, you can use wood wedges that you make yourself, or you can even use rocks. I've used rocks if I didn't have enough to split a long piece of wood. Step number three, you gotta pick out where you're gonna be doing your cuts. We got a nice knot here. Don't wanna work by splitting it right here. And because it doesn't split through knots very well, my thought is looking at this log, this side is pretty clean. So I am going to take my, my ax and get a nice cut started this way. What this will do is it will cut off the knot and that will make it so we can get the wood out of here. We can get a nice stave here, maybe some staves off the side, but we're mostly gonna get our nice, the best clean stave on the bottom. And that's what we're trying to do is get at least one really nice stave out of this or the easiest stave to work with. When I start my cut, I wanna go through the heart of the tree because the heart of the tree is the center all the way through. I don't know if the tree is gonna have this much wood all the way through, which obviously it does and it stops right here. You always wanna start your split through the center. That way you get your most amount of wood through the whole stave. Let's get started. As you're going along here, you want to get the, you want to make your, your split nice and straight. That means I'm going to start one spot and then I'm going to spread from that same spot as long as I got a little bit of the, the ax head in the previous. It should be able to make a nice straight line going through that. All right, now let's start the actual split. I like to go to the edge. It's a lot easier to get the edge to start splitting than right in the middle. All 
A lot of times during the split, you'll have tendrils that are connecting between the two, but you can tell that it's completely split down further. So I like to take my hatchet and cut those. It just helps you with your splitting a lot more. We have the staves split now. They turned out pretty good. The last step, and, and, or the first step, it's, you gotta seal the ends. Wood, uh, when it's not sealed on the ends, will split on its own because the uh, moisture is escaping too fast. And so in order to protect it, you need to seal it with whatever you got. Paint, wax, I got oil sealer for fence, whatever works. Just get it sealed so that you don't get the cracking. Some boyers even say, right as the tree is falling, before it even hits the ground, you should seal it. I'm not that careful, <laughs> but uh, just put it on as thick as you can get it uh, so that it seals the end. That's all you need to do. Just make sure it's sealed. This is the best stave I got from that log. Pretty clean, pretty straight. It's got a little bit of twist in it, but that's mostly cosmetic. There is this knot down here that I'll probably have to work around or just make the bow a little bit shorter. That'll be about a five and a half foot or so bow instead of the full six foot I got there. But that's plenty long for a good bow. The hardest part about doing all of this is now waiting for the wood to dry. The moisture content of this log is about 25, 30%. So it's already lost a lot of water, but it's still, you probably you want your bows to be about 10 or 11 percent moisture content it's not too hard to uh, find one of these on amazon uh, only 25 30 bucks to buy a little moisture meter and they can be very helpful in the curing process or the uh, drying process of your wood that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you take this, some of this information for the next time you have an opportunity to split a log that you can get the best staves out of it for your next bow. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. Ignore that thing. <laughs> Focus on me.